All right, so we're out here with Trojan family royalty. We've got Evan, Isaiah, and the father, Eric. Hey. So, talk to us about last night, Dad. You got a chance to see your son play for the first time professionally. Talk about that experience. Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome experience. And, you know, I haven't been to any of the games. You know, Evan's been playing in Cleveland and all over the place and uh, didn't have the opportunity to do that because I'm here working. But it was awesome last night. I was so excited. Isaiah, you had a chance to watch your brother play. Talk about those feelings. Uh, it was excellent. Uh, we ended up being able to get some court side seats, so we were right there. We got to see all the action. Um, uh, it was just, like surreal uh, seeing them play in the Staples Center. Um, now the Mobies are, we go, I won it. One win in the Staples Center. When I was the first one, he got one uh, this last night. So, how many tickets did you have to get for friends and family last night? Um, I had to get a lot. Uh, I think like, about 15 people came last night. Um, got, I know of, uh, there's a, a lot of other people as well that I just knew that came to the game. Um, but tonight, or uh, last night was amazing. There's so many fans and friends that were there to watch them. So. After the game, did you get to go home and stay with the family, or did you stay with the team at the hotel? Uh, we went out to eat. We had a dinner with everyone, and so we went out to eat. It was, it was good. So far in the NBA, what has what's been the biggest surprise for you? Um, probably like the speed of the game. Uh, it's more fast. Uh, a lot of action and stuff happened faster. Um, that's probably like the biggest difference. Because it doesn't seem like it's really affected you. I mean, your first game out, you. What, you put up a double-double or close to it? Yeah. Um, you talk about that? First game, I just try to stay focused, uh, not really feed into all the energy. Um, just try to be locked in on my assignments, and that's why I went out there and did, and I had a good first game. Uh, uh, I'm sure you're his harshest critic. What, what did you see in this game that he needs to improve on right away? Uh, improve? Just look at the basket and shoot it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Isaiah, what'd you see? Um, yeah, just more like, um, I thought he did well overall. Um, yeah, just just keeping it aggressive, uh, staying, uh, keeping pressure on the, uh, keep, keep pressure on the, on the defense, um, make sure Blake can play honest. But overall, I think he's doing well. I think he's adjusting well, and obviously, like, the stat sheet and, and the win column for Cleveland is, is, is showing that. Yeah, I mean, you, you come home to, to L.A. as a professional. Is that any, everything that you could have imagined have happened? Um, yeah, like, it's amazing. Like, just come home, be out here, spend time with my friends, family, and just play basketball. And it's a good And then as far as this team this year, Isaiah, what are your expectations? You're about a week away from your first game. What's happening? Um, I think our team is really good. We're really deep this year. We've got a lot of returners from the Elite 18. Um, so I think that will translate uh, throughout the season. Uh, we've got some good uh, transfers and Boogie Ellis. Um, it's a good freshman as well. So I think we can make another run. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful that we can uh, stamp and maybe get a Pac-12 championship this year officially, um, and then uh, just go make a run to play. Great. Any last words, Dad, before the Suns take off? Um, I'm proud of these guys. Um, fight on, and uh, you know, go Cavs. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys, uh, you're about a week away from your first game. Give us your impression of the team, where they're at, what you're expecting. We've seen a lot of improvement the last week and a half, two weeks. We had another scrimmage on Saturday, I think. It's a chance for our players to play against someone other than ourselves. It's uh, tough every day when you compete as hard as we do to see the same guys over and over. So uh, we're looking forward to a big scrimmage on Saturday. Get ready for our first game on November 9th. Out of the scrimmage you guys just had, um, what was your biggest takeaway out of that? I think we have a lot of depth, a lot of players competing for minutes in the same positions, but we also have these interchangeable parts where some guys can move all over the court, play different positions. So I think it's a very balanced team. I, uh, I think it will be very hard to guard, and defensively we're very tough. And then as far as your backcourt, are, are you confident with where you're at as far as your ball handling situation? Yeah, we have two very good lead guards with Boogie, Ethan, and Drew Peterson. And then we have a lot of guys that are that combo with, with Reese and Malik and Kobe, the front three freshmen are very good ball handlers. And then Max and Isaiah White give us that big wing look, and, and they can also play the, the power forward if we go small ball. So there's a lot of versatility. Okay. And then today, um, Evan Mobley was back out here visiting the team. Talk about, I mean, you got a big NBA presence, it seemed like, out here with scouts. I think we have about 12 or 14 yeah. NBA scouts here today at practice. Uh, I thought it was great last night, Evan. We all went to the game. 
He played outstanding defense last night, had a double-double, a big road win for the Cavaliers. And tomorrow they play the Lakers. So it's a great L.A. swing for Evan to come back and play well and uh, see all his friends and family and his teammates. And as far as, you know, selling the program, I mean, to, to be able to have Evan and then, you know, Isaiah's on the next guy out, Onyeka the year before, I mean, it's got to be a, a big message to other recruits out there. Well, I think it's great to have your former players involved, whether they make the NBA or not. We've been fortunate to have six NBA players the last four years. So guys like Onyek and DeAnthony Melton coming back this summer, Jordan McLaughlin was just here, Kevin Porter Jr., Shemezi Metu, and of course, Evan. So when those guys come back, it makes a big difference. Our, their teammates, some are former teammates, some are new, but uh, the whole USC program and the campus community really appreciate with them uh, coming back and getting, getting involved with what we're doing. And then again, you guys have your first game coming up against CSUN on the 9th. Um, give a message to the fans, try and generate some energy and get, some, get them out there. Well, first, the students, we have two classes. I've never been to a USC basketball game, the freshman and sophomore, because we didn't have fans last year. So we hope, hopefully we'll get some student excitement. And then the community went to the Elite Eight last year, which is great. And uh, we just hope that people are comfortable coming in an indoor arena with the COVID. I know there's still uh, some protocols out there, but we're excited. We're excited to start the season November 9th. Great. Well, thanks, Coach. We'll look forward to seeing you.